guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys what I've been running on my Galaxy Nexus uh, for the past couple of weeks. This is the Eclipse ROM for the Galaxy Nexus. It's up to build 12. Uh, the ROM that I had been running was build 11. I did update it today. There were several fixes that came out on this build uh, along with some added features. So we're going to run over the features. But first of all, let's head to the settings. And I'll show you guys, we're running Jelly Bean. So we're running Jelly Bean 4.1.1, and there's the kernel version. Uh, this thing is incredibly fast. Like, it is so fast. It's got the Project Butter included, and I have the Apex Launcher. Uh, there's a couple that you can choose from, I believe, or either it just comes with the Apex Launcher. Uh, like I said, I installed this thing a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but anyhow, it comes with the Apex Launcher, and you can do all kinds of neat things with that. Most of you guys are familiar, but that's how I'm getting this awesome scrolling effect was that Apex Launcher. If we go into that drawer, you can really see the speed of this ROM. And then we'll open up the settings. There's not really any custom apps that are included here. I mean, you have all your Google apps. And one thing that he has done here is he has inverted some of these apps. Uh, so he's taken the white elements and made those black, which just makes for a really cool application. Uh, I can't remember if he had done it in email or not. Let's check it. Yes, it's all blacked out. So that's really cool. Um, if we go into our file manager, it has been blacked out. Let's see what else. Um, I know that if we go into our text messaging, let's go into our contacts, that's blacked out. Dialer has been blacked out. Text messaging, all blacked out. Camera is uh, blacked out-ish. Yes, it's blacked out. Okay, cool. So that is all of the inverted elements. There may be some more inverted elements, I'm not really sure, but now we're gonna get into the settings because there's lots of settings. This is probably uh, one of the most customizable ROMs for Jelly Bean so far that I have run. And I've run a few and you guys have seen those. So in the settings, you've got all kind of Eclipse settings here. Starting with your general settings, you have a theme chooser. So this is from CyanogenMod10. You can actually download all kinds of themes from the Play Store. Most of them are free. Some of them are like a dollar. And uh, anyhow, you can load, you can download those from the Play Market. They'll show up in your theme chooser. All you have to do is click it and then click apply, and it applies that like right then and there, which is really awesome. We'll go back. You can set your quiet hours and also your weather settings uh, right there from general settings. So like your weather settings, if you wanted some weather uh, settings in your pull down and also on your lock screen, that's how you would do that. And then there is that about where you can actually donate to nitroglycerin. He's put a lot of effort and work into this ROM on this device and many other devices. In fact, he was one of my favorite developers for the Droid X2 and also the Bionic uh, when I was heavily into those devices. Um, so I've been kind of running his stuff for quite a while and I really like what he does. So if you want to donate to him, by all means, please do. Uh, input controls, you can change your volume rocker, how those react. You can actually set that up to uh, work from the lock screen. Interface, you can change uh, the general UI. You can enable the volume panel. Status bar, this is like uh, your status bar up top. You can set your clock style to center. The framework has also been inverted, which is pretty cool. You can change the AM, PM style there. Battery status, there's so many to choose from there. And I normally hide this and then just enable the battery text. That's just my preference. You can kind of play with that if you like. If you decide to set the battery bar, it'll show up in your uh, status bar and you can actually change the color, which is really neat. If we go back, we have power widgets. So when you pull this down, these are your power widgets up top here. You can set those up. You can actually choose the buttons that you want. There's so many to choose from. And then you can also do uh, network modes and brightness modes. You can change those as well. And you can change the button order. Let's see here. If we go into the navigation bar, that's this part down here, obviously. You can actually change these all to custom apps. And like, I'll just show you guys. If I go here, I can choose custom app and then applications. And I can literally choose from any application that's installed on my phone. I'm not going to do that now, but just so you see. You can change your button transparency here. So that's how bright your actual button is down there at the bottom. You can change the glow animation to make it fast or slow. Uh, you can change what it does when you long press home. And you can also change the height and width of the nav bar. So if we wanted to, of course it requires a reboot, so I can't really show you here. But you can actually change it there. 
And if you click on the little menu, then you can set it back to default. Okay, so in, I think it was build 10, he added all kinds of lock screen types. So you can actually go to the lock screen style. You can choose from slider, rotary, honeycomb lock screens, or you can go with the jelly bean lock screen, which is what I like. And then we'll go back and you can actually choose your hot seats, which is really cool. So you just drag and drop on the hot seat and you'll choose an application. So we could go with, I would just say browser, click OK, and then you would click save. Now if I go to the lock screen and I pull that over, that'll open up the browser. Pretty cool stuff. And I think that's all the settings. Let me just double check here. Uh, we do have kernel settings, which is really awesome. This is where you can overclock your CPU. So we can go all the way up to 1344 megahertz or 1.3 gigahertz. And you can also set your governor. So if you go to interactive, it's just going to uh, speed up your CPU or slow it down to save battery and for optimum performance, just whatever it needs uh, to do the task, it'll choose it. Or you can go to performance, that's going to kill your battery, just be max CPU all the time. Or you could do like conservative and you might experience some lag because it's going to do like minimum CPU all the time. Same thing with power save. And you have voltage settings and you can do color multipliers and color gamma tuning. I don't really mess with that stuff much but there are people that love to mess with that kind of stuff those options are there for you that's why we run custom roms is so that we can have options if you press and hold the power button that's going to bring up your reboot menu we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery now i'm running twerp but you can also flash this rom from clockwork mod recovery uh, so what you need to do is head to the link in the description grab eclipse rom it's up to version 12 and you'll also need the g apps um, or alternatively you go to eclipserom.com that's where nitroglycerin keeps all this stuff updated for all his devices. So you can check that out as well and you can follow him. Nitroglycerin33 is his Twitter handle. Of course you guys know me, I'm Droid X. So all you have to do here is go to wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe, and then you'll go to cache, swipe to wipe, and Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe. When that's all finished, you're gonna go back and install and you'll choose Eclipse, whatever the current build is. Make sure that's what you're flashing, swipe to flash. And you go to those Eclipse 4.1.1 G apps, that's the Jelly Bean G apps, you'll swipe to flash. And when that's all finished, it'll probably take about five minutes or less, you'll go to Reboot and System. Now it just comes with the standard Nexus Jelly Bean boot animation. Uh, a lot of you guys have probably seen that by now. But you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I have the latest in Android and tech news. You can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Be sure to subscribe to this channel right here. Uh, tomorrow on Friday, August 24th, I will have a big giveaway announcement. So you want to stay tuned for that. Uh, be sure that you are tuned in for that. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see lots and lots of Google Nexus Galaxy Nexus ROM reviews. I'm going to cover this device heavily because it's still one of my main devices. I carry this sometimes and I carry my Galaxy S3. So th those are my main devices. The Droid Bionic has seen a resurgence of development. So I'm going to start covering that a little more heavily. You guys know that I have a Nexus 7 that I cover and also a Transformer Prime that I cover some when good stuff comes out for it. Because a lot of the stuff that's come out for that has not just really been excellent. But I will be covering that as well. So you want to be sure that you are subscribed for that. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.